Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel Software Tutorial. So in this Video Studio X7 tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to enable and use ripple editing. So ripple editing basically allows you to keep your video clips, text and audio all in synchronization with, the, with each other. So what I mean by this is if we were to remove this video clip here then this clip would shift along to the left but this sound clip won't and this is supposed to go with this video clip. So I'll show you what I mean by this. When I delete this clip, you'll see the video clip has shifted along to the left, but the sound clip has stayed where it is. So now this project is out of synchronization. So we want to make this sound clip move along with the video clip. So I'll just put that clip back in, and we're now gonna lock this track to this track. So you need to go to this drop down arrow here, and then go to Enable Ripple Editing. Now once you've got that selected, you can lock that track to it. So whichever track it is, you need to press this lock button. So you can see I've now locked the narration track onto the video track. Now if I was to remove this video clip, they'll both move together and won't come out of synchronization. As you can see, they've both moved together and now all synchronization is still in place. So that is basically how you use ripple editing. You can use it for all the other tracks, the overlay tracks, the title tracks, and the music tracks. Um, and it's very, very useful, especially if you're wanting to remove a segment of a project um, near the beginning or maybe the middle of a project, um, which would affect everything else along the line. Um, this will keep everything together and you won't have to mess around having to move all your audio and your text about, trying to keep it all in synchronization. So hopefully this video has helped you.